Hey everybody, welcome to Fatty's Barbecue. My name is Eric Cantu, and I do want to say thank you very much for joining in on this video. This week, I'm super excited. As you can tell, the fire has started. We're cooking up some brisket. All right, everybody. So yes, today we are doing two briskets. And the first one I'm doing right here, it's actually gonna be called brisket number two. This is Texas style. It's a little bit larger. It's about a 16 pound brisket. And I'm just doing a 50-50 mix of kosher salt and some black pepper. And as you can see, I'm, I'm just trying to get this uh, all the way around nice and even, uh, heavy coverage around. Uh, I really, hopefully, will get a nice bark on this thing. I've never cooked a Texas style before. So this is the first time I'm trying it out. And, Again, I'm just trying to make sure it's all even. And uh, the big thing is I got the pit going and uh, trying to get that to 250. So once it's at 250, we'll be ready to put this big old brisket on there. And again, the second brisket's gonna be with a different rub. So let's get started, we'll see you in a little while. So here we are at 250, everybody, on both sides. Um, this Lone Star Grill, I'm, I'm telling you, it just holds temp ridiculously well. It is built like a tank. So guys, yes, I highly recommend it. But let's get it opened up here. Remember, we have to make room for two briskets, okay? This is brisket number one, the Texas style, and uh, you're gonna see here in a little while, I'm gonna put up uh, another one that's gonna be the, uh, the one with the rub. All right, so let's get this set up on the left side here. Uh, this guy is pretty heavy, so we gotta do this with one hand. We gotta hold the camera with the other hand. I'm gonna put this fat side up, and of course I lose some rub there, but let's, let's never mind that right now, guys. Don't, don't pay attention to, to that uh, amateur move right there. Anyway, so look, take a look at it. It looks really good. And here's the second brisket. This is the one with the rub on it. And it's like a sweeter rub. Um, it's from a, a local market here in town. And uh, again, it's a little bit sweeter, so we're gonna just compare them. So we're gonna get this one set up on the right side. Make sure the temperature is set correctly. Let's get this pushed back in. And again, so left, the, both of them are gonna be cooking. The right side is the one with the rub, and the left side is a Texas style. And uh, again, we're gonna try to get this to 250 maintain the temps and we'll come back when this thing uh, is ready to hit the stall. All right, so we got that closed out. Now we'll give us some time and uh, we'll just maintain this fire at 250 degrees. Okay, everybody, we're back. So it's been about four hours that we've had these briskets on there and I'm not gonna open it up because I don't want to let any more heat escape, but uh, we're holding it about 250 right now, which is very, very good. Very solid pit, I'm very impressed. This thing has been holding. I haven't been having to use much wood at all. I mean maybe like once every so often I'm putting a log in there, but it's not like the old pits I used to have where I'm just constantly having to feed this fire and it just fluctuates up and down. Anyway, so pit is staying about 250 right now. What I wanted to talk about was that we're at about 164 right now, internal temp, and right now we've hit that stall. So I'm sure you guys have heard about it before. That's where the temp on your, on your brisket starts going up and up and up. Once it hits about 162 to 164, it like plateaus and it'll stay there for a couple hours. So we're gonna push right through it. We're not gonna panic. We're just gonna let, you know, nature do its work here and just let the fire keep working, let the pit do its work. And once we come out of that stall, boom, it's gonna kick up again and we'll get to about 190. Um, and that's when I'll take it about 190, 195-ish. Right around there is where I'll take it off. So let's see what happens. We'll get back to you when we get out of this stall. All right, everybody, as you can see, the sun has gone down. We've had these briskets on for a very long time. We've been maintaining the temperature right around 250. I think the most that we went up to is maybe like 263 or so, and it was just up and down, but for the most part, right around 250. So this whole pit has been very, very solid. Very happy about that. But we are getting buzzing already saying that the top brisket is done. So that's a little surprising that we thought we were gonna go a few more hours, but I'm assuming it's because it's on the top rack and heat rises up that's probably why it's done. So what I'm gonna do just to make sure is I'm gonna do an instant read right now and we're gonna take a look to see if it is in fact ready. Okay, so I'm gonna get this right in here. Going deep. And 179, Woo! my hand's burning. Hold on one second again. Let's get this in right here. Right there I'm reading 187. I'm nice and deep right now, and I'm reading about 187 here. Let me temp over here on this side. 
Oh, that went in like butter on that side, Bob. Go right here. And I'm reading about 190. So I would say 189 right there in the middle. So I'd say we're pretty darn close, Bob. And so, um, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this off and we'll get these gloves on. Let me close this up right now so I don't lose too much heat for this bottom one. All right, everybody. So it's pretty much done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on those silicone gloves. We're gonna pull it out, take the probes off. We're gonna wrap it and let it rest for about an hour and a half. And then we're gonna slice into it and see how it tastes. In the meantime, we're gonna let the other brisket continue to cook. It's a little bit bigger. The first one was about 14 and a half pounds. 13 pounds, sorry, thank you, Bob. So the first was about 13 pounds, and the second one was right at 16 pounds. So it's gonna take a little bit longer. But anyway, let's get started. All right, everybody, here we go. It's time to take this brisket off. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Woo! All right, let's get this probe out. Pull it off, pull it to the side. I know you guys can't see this too much, but this looks great. Easy. That was plain. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. It's nice and jiggly. Okay. Some of you guys can see that brisket right there. See that? It is warm. Look at that. Nice and jiggly. Put it down. All right, let's get this in here. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty soft right there. You know, pretty pliable. Let me get, I can never get these gloves off, dude. Time out, can't get the gloves off. Technical difficulties. All right, got the gloves off. Let's try to get this one off. There we go. I think I'm gonna have to invest in some different gloves. All right guys, so the brisket's there. Let's get this thing covered up. I gotta get this guy closed up. There we go. Almost forgot that other brisket's still cooking. I gotta keep that up to temp. All righty. Looks good about right there. And I'm just gonna cover the top. I'm not actually gonna. I'm not actually gonna cover the actual, you know, brisket. I'm just gonna cover the top, nice and loose. And that's it, Bob. First brisket. We just lost light. Bob just plugged it. Bobby just unplugged it. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. All right, guys, and that's it. First brisket is down. We got it wrapped up. We're gonna let it sit for about an hour and a half, okay? Then we're gonna slice into it. In the meantime, we still gonna have to keep the fire going on this one, keeping it at 250, because we've got that second 16 pound brisket in there going. We'll get back with you when that one's done, or if this one's ready to get cut first. Whichever one comes first, we're gonna show you. Buddy, it's been two hours since the last brisket was taken off, so it's almost time to go cut that. We're gonna show you that next, but right now, the other brisket, the 16 pounder, it's all done. It's already reached 190. We're pulling that guy off right now. Going in 191. Oh yeah, we are good. <laughs> I'm gonna put these gloves on. Guys, you know what? If you've been seeing me work with these gloves, uh, I don't know, we might wanna rethink this purchase right here. They feel, they're just so hard, there's not that much grip, so that's another conversation altogether. But you guys see me struggling with this. Maybe I should've. Yeah, we'll use some different gloves later, but maybe I should have bought extra large, you know? I need a size kawaii. Ooh, that does look nice and pliable, Bob. Here we go. Right here, guys, here it is. All right, guys, you see this right here? It's nice and pliable. It's looking good. What I'm gonna do is put this down. We're gonna wrap it. All right, everybody, that's it. We are done. The brisket is ready to go. I'm gonna lightly wrap it. This Lone Star Grill worked perfectly. I'm super happy about it. It kept that temp right at 250 the entire time. So let's get this thing wrapped up and we'll see you in about an hour and a half. So it's been a couple hours with the first brisket resting. We're ready to cut into it. So let's get started. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, you smell that, Bob? I smell it, that smells good. So let's go ahead and go this way with it. Let's turn it this guy right here. I'll try not to get too much of that bark off of it. All right, so here we go. See how this goes. Put that to the side. Let's open this up. There you go. Take a look at that, Bob. See that just pouring out? Yeah. That looks great. Woo -wee. Got a nice smoke ring on there. Looking good. Looks like the fat all rendered out. Here's the other side right here. I don't want to take off too much bark. Would you see that? Looking good. So now I'm just going to 
take a couple slices and we're going to see how it goes. There you go. One. I'm going to do one more slice. There you go. Lay that down. Looks pretty good. You see that? Oh, looking pretty good. Nice and juicy. Let's see if it'll come apart. There you go. Pull test kind of worked out for me. Do it one more time. There you go. Now, moment of truth. I'm going to get this big chunk right here, guys. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Camera the guy deserves to put his hand in and eat some of that. That's good, guys. Good stuff. Drop it on my shoe. Mm-hmm. As well, first brisket's down. Success. First cook is done. Tastes really good. Flavor is really, really good on this thing. So, pretty happy with the way the smokers cook so far. Remember, we still got that other brisket. We're waiting about an hour and a half on that one to rest up, and we're going to cut that one. So, we'll see you in a little while. Mm. That's good. All right, everybody. So we are ready for brisket number two. It's had its time to rest. So. Let's see how it looks. Let's get this guy unwrapped. Alrighty, there we go. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy this way. There we go. All right, so, got a nice jiggle here. Looking pretty good. How's that look, Bob? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Knife out the way, spread it open. There it is, guys. See that, Bob? Yeah. There's the other side. You see that, guys? This is very soft. Look at that. Looks like a big chunk right here. It's falling apart. Overdone. <laughs> So, it looks like I cooked this a little too long. It is pulling, but as you can tell, it didn't quite pass that pull the the, uh, the hanging test because it did fall apart on its own. Move this one out the way. All right, so now I'm trying this moist portion out. We've turned it around. See the grain that kind of comes this way here. I'm gonna chop against the grain this way. It should make these bites nice and tender. So let's go ahead and go through this. slices going so this is it hanging right here so let's take a look kind of comes off it's pretty good so let's give it a try looks pretty juicy let's give this guy a try mm. that's really really moist really really tender that has a very good flavor right there I'm actually pretty happy about that but I don't know if you can see it but there's a lot of juice just coming right out of that and it just pretty much melted in my mouth it's good mm. that part is very very good so here's what i'm talking about this is the bottom portion the moist was up here i went ahead and separated from the top the moist part came out perfect now this lean portion here maybe not so good let's take a cut of this and see how this one is so this one semi holds it's probably just overdone but you can see it's it is a little more dry Let's try it out. Taking a look at it, like I said, it does have a smoke ring on it. Hmm, you know what? That's actually pretty good. I'm okay with that. So it seems like, excuse my food. So it seems like the left side where the thicker portion of the brisket is, the lean and the moist, actually cooked really well. It was a thinner part of the flat side kind of got overcooked so I'm wondering maybe I trimmed too much fat off I don't know I'm not to look back at it and see what I did right or wrong but I'm actually pretty pretty okay with this here okay so that second brisket the moist part was absolutely great the texture was awesome it melted in my mouth the, the, the taste was great but the lean portion I didn't quite like as much it was a little more dry but you know what that's why I make these videos not everyone's perfect it's all about real brisket and sometimes they just don't come out that great so this just tells me I'm gonna have to try again, figure out what did I do that was good on that first brisket that was on the top rack and versus this second brisket. Now, taste-wise, 
The first one I still liked a lot better. That had a brisket rub on there that was a little sweeter. On the second brisket, I went ahead and did the salt and pepper Texas style. Now to be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of it. It tasted a little bland to me. The fat was rendered really well. It tasted good as far as the fat goes. And on the moist section of this brisket, it was good. But again, I just really liked the sweeter rub um, on that first brisket. Overall, the cook went well. That Lone Star Grill held temp perfectly, right at 250 the entire time. Very solid build. I was a little surprised that the, the briskets cooked a little quicker than we thought they would. But overall, again, number one brisket was good. Number two brisket, overdone. But hey, that's why we're here. We're here to practice and we're here to keep trying. And that's why we're growing as a channel together. You're going to see where we start and hopefully you'll see some better briskets as we go on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love making these things. It's a passion of mine, guys. Sometimes the cooks work out, sometimes they don't. But you know what? I'm not going to hide anything and I want to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Click like, subscribe, whatever we do on YouTube. And again, we'll have something cool for y'all next episode. Until then, thank you very much. We'll see ya.